Galactic Superhero Team. I think we have a bad connection. Uh, is this thing on? Intergalactic Superhero Team, I need you to come here immediately. We're on Planet Malicious, where my son is freaking out. Peg and Cat, you're our only hope. Sounds like this is a job for... The Intergalactic Superhero Team! Cat, chart a course for the Planet Palicious. Let's get there quick. Super fast space speed! Is that the Planet Palicious? That's no planet. Planets are round shapes called spheres. That's a cylinder. A cylinder is a solid shape that has two circles on either end, which are connected by a tube. So it's not a planet. It's Dot Space Station! Hi! What are you doing out here? She's fixing spaceships. That's so cool. Good luck, Dot. Bye! Is that black thing palicious? It's round. That's not a sphere either. A sphere's a solid round shape like a ball. That black shape is flat. It's a black ball! If you fly into a black hole, you can get stuck in it. Stare clear, cat! Straight ahead, I count one giant sphere. It's palicious! Superhero team, and we're ready to face your emergency. It's not exactly an emergency, but you're the only ones in the universe who can help us. Huh? Yay! They're really here! This is awesome! My four year old son, Felix, is your biggest fan. <gasps> you're Super Peg, the most awesomest, coolest, wonderfulest superhero of all time. Hi there, little guy. <gasps> and you're Cat, the cutest. This most lovable, amazing cat ever. He is. And you're Richard, super genius inventor. Well, I'm not really a genius. And you're Adbot, Richard's new invention that counts super duper fast. You really are our biggest fan. It's Felix's birthday, and, um, well, he was wondering if you could. I could. Please, please, please ride in your spaceship, please. Well, since it's your birthday... Yay! We'll have him back by dinner. I'm so, so, so happy! Oh, my fuzz! That's Super Peg's captain's chair. And these are your space controls. And that's your video screen. Hi, Mom! Intergalactic superhero team, I forgot to tell you that whatever you do, please keep Felix away from... Keep him away from what? I love buttons. His mom must have been trying to say, keep him away from buttons. Or keep him away from levers. Or keep him away from everything. Taking care of this crazy little fuzzball is going to be a really big problem. I got him. Your spaceship is awesome. Oh, my fuzz. I just love being here. Oh, he is really cute. Now that we have another king, let the game begin! Yay! What game are we playing? And why does it involve chasing me? Uh, uh, We're playing chess. Uh, uh, the goal is to capture the other side's king. I love capturing a king. Uh, I don't want to be captured. I don't want my friend chased. I don't want to play this game. I am totally freaking out. <laughs> I should count to eight to calm down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it, you hopping geniuses! Huh? Excuse me? You two are making those little hops because you're kings. A king in chess can go one space at a time. But a queen can leap eight spaces. And I'm a queen, so I can go eight times further than a king. Like this. And this. Why didn't I think of that? Cat, did you bring a gift for the king? Uh, nope. Oh, no. It's King the Pig's birthday, and we didn't even get him a present. We've got a big problem. What do we do? Let's be brave and bold and just tell the pig we forgot and ask him what he wants for his birthday. You be brave and bold first. Uh, Mr. the Pig, your highness? Funny story. 
We haven't had a chance to buy you a birthday present. So, uh, what do you want? You already have all the triangles in the kingdom. Is there anything else that you've always wanted? Ever since I was a piggy prince, I've had but one request. To hear the song known through the land for being silliest. And so you ask me, Peg the Bold and Good Sir Cat the Brave, to hear the silliest song in the land is the only thing I crave. You want a song as your present? We can sing. We can dance. We'd be happy to sing the silliest song in the land for you, Your Highness. Bring it on! We know what we're giving the pig for his birthday. And so... Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Problem solved. So anyway, Jesse, Sam and I wanted to tell you that we're getting married. <laughs> it's great news, right? It's, uh, uh... I've got a really big problem. Sim makes Mom happy. Okay. I want Mom to be happy. Of course. Sim makes me happy, too. And yet somehow... You're not sure how you feel about them getting married. Yeah. You should be jolly as a pirate. The more in your family, the merrier. We loves being a big old band of pirates. Arrgh. Arrgh. But pirates. Ramon just explained some math to me that's making me wonder if more in a group isn't merrier. It's really making me think. And I wonder if it might be worrying Jesse too. Check it out. With the parrot, there are five of you. So if you divide up a trunk of 20 jewels evenly, you each get four. Four jewels is sweet. But if there were only four of you, you'd each get five. Four jewels is sweeter. If there were only two, you'd each get ten. Ten jewels? I love our pirate gang. We always have enough. But in a smaller group, we'd get more stuff. So I stay together. I'm suddenly not sure. I think we better. So, Clouds, we need your help figuring out how Jesse should feel about his family becoming a bigger group. He says they work in their group of clowns. They live in their group of clowns. They love being in a big group of bananas. I mean, clowns. Ugh. Yeah, but clowns, when you do that act where you all squeeze into one car, it's really funny. But if there were fewer clowns, you'd each have more room. If there were only two, everybody could really spread out. At the table, you could each have your own seat instead of having to squish. They say they like their act. It makes the people laugh. But being in a smaller group would sure have its giraffe. I mean, advantages. So I stay together. What do you do it for? I think we better think some more. What about you guys, Peggy Cat? What about us? How do you two do it? Sharing every seat. Dividing every single sandwich that you eat. We love our little duo. And yet I guess it's true. More pickles would be nice. We need to think it through, like you, and you, and you. So now it's time for... Chocolate Milk! I'll pour in the milk. Can't grab the chocolate if you please. We're gonna mix them up. Oh yeah, just tell me when to squeeze. How much milk should I pour in? How much chocolate do you picture? Oh no! We, we can't, can't make chocolate, chocolate milk, milk if we don't know, know the right, right mixture. Is it two equal parts? Chocolate and milk? I think it's chocolate up to here and a little splash of milk. Oh, if we don't know how much of each ingredient to add, we can't make chocolate milk. And that's a big problem. Could you two help me with the compost? I'm in. Cat? Cat? I'm on the fence. We still have to solve our big problem, remember? We can't make chocolate milk if we don't know the right mixture. Word! I've got a really cool chocolate milk recipe for you. It's one part chocolate and two parts milk. Go on. Peg, you pour the milk. Pig, you hold these. Out, 
have the chocolate. A uh, pig usually lets me squeeze. You're hoping for a recipe? Well, I have got the fix for the perfect chocolate milk because I know just, just the, the right, right mixture. One part chocolate and two parts milk. If I'm careful when I pour the milk flows in as smooth as silk. One part chocolate and two parts milk. It's a three part combination you can always use. We will. It looks pretty uneven. Maybe I should squeeze the rest. It's uneven for a reason. Those mixtures can't be best. One part chocolate. And two parts milk. I so can't wait to taste it. It's going to be a thrill. Our problem is solved. Oh, it's everything I wish for. We need our chocolate milk because we need just, just the, the right mixture. Check it out. Whoa. A little chocolate in a lot of milk makes an awesome drink. 